Hey, this is Zach with Secret Castle. Uh, we just hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for that. We've been trying to grow the channel with shorts, uh, and eventually when we hit 1,000, we want to put out some long-form content, uh, which is great, because we just had a big old trade come in. Uh, we've got Jason and Amanda both rocking it right now. So uh, let's go check on them, see how they're doing, so you can get a little behind the scenes on how a trade is done here at the castle. Hard. Hey, Jason, what we got going on? Okay, so we had a walk-in just now. Two collections, same guy. Uh, this is from his church. And then he has his own stuff. Dude's a regular. His own stuff is always fire. Always fire. So he gave me the church collection, and Amanda got the good stuff in the back. But it is kind of good. Like, if you go to church here, you're playing Driver. They got Guitar Hero. I'm fixing to test his guitar keyboards. I found this in here. Grand Theft Auto 3? What church do you go to? But uh, I haven't found any cool ones yet. Oh, it's mostly sports and ATV off-road for Fury. So when you get a trade like this, what's the first thing that you go to to look for as far as uh, value or, you know, you're looking for? I'm like a kid in a candy store. For every trade that comes in, I'm immediately looking for Kuon in PlayStation 2 or any game I haven't seen before. But then after that, I usually separate um, filler items with super rare and get a quote for everything and go down the list. But uh, right now I look for Kuon and I'm ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Is this half volume or is it one set volume? Main thing you want to focus on though is Guitar Hero guitars fly off the shelf. Nobody ever tests to see if they work in a lot of other places. So we want to make sure you get the 90 gig guarantee with our guitars. We keep glasses under the counter because it adds the ambiance. And I test everything on easy mode. Zach usually tests on hard because he's God mode. But I'll do medium for this demonstration. How to explain that at church. How to tell him about that at church. You know, I never look at it from this side, but the tiny monitor looks so good from here. Just yeah, like... it looks good. It's hard to see those notes, though. It's definitely oh, for not sure. I suck. Okay, so it works. It's a good working console. It works. You sure that guitar works? It works. You know what? No one ever uses the orange button. Ooh. All Star Wrestling. That's solid. Anything else in here solid? Uh, basic. Basic. No cool on. Lots of loose discs. Where'd they get all these loose disc games? Uh, I can give you a good guess. Yo, Amanda. Y'all yeah. sell games at GameStop for 89 cents? Uh, Are these your games? Yep. Where did you put these? So we would put them kind of like how we do our loose games, just in a, in a little tub. Yeah. Uh, and then people would thumb through them because they didn't want to make faces. We stole stuff. her from GameStop. Kind of. I just, I happen to appear. <laughs> That's cool. So when you get a big bunch of loose games like that, are you worried about scratches or anything on PS2 or? Well, scratches, scratches happen. However, we do have two $6,000 each commercial disc resurface machines. So typically we're not worried about scratches, but uh, we don't pay less if they're scratched because we're just gonna buff them like this. Looks like ass, it's gonna come right out and be pristine. Cool. Uh, so yeah, we have a big trade like this. We usually try to split it up uh, if we can, uh, just to get it oh, done. Quickly. Get the customer paid and out the door fast, baby. All right, so let's go check out Amanda, see what she's got going on. There's a lot going on right now. Uh, working hard? Yeah, working hard or hardly working. Uh, this is the TMNT Countercade. Um, it has one to two players, but I selected one player. Um, there's way too many ninjas for it being level two, uh, so I'm probably not gonna last very long. Uh, secondly, I just got it out of the box. That was my foot. Uh, is this uh, Street Fighter fight stick that I know Zach's gonna want to take home as soon as we pay for it? Uh, this, uh, somehow you start the game, and I'm not sure how to do that. Like, you added a bunch of credits. I see that. You just keep hitting the credit button, and it just keeps happening. Okay, so you're you're credited out of your gourd here. Um, <laughs> All right, so I, I am unsure. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, we do have the instructions uh, available. Oh, wow, well, that's just... Um, we're not in a great spot here, because what has happened uh, inside of here... So you have, the, you have the thing that has the joysticks, but in this illustration it shows the start button. Um, if I could get you to pan back to here. Um, there is one player start, start two players start. Why don't we pop the top and just see if the coin buttons are plugged in correctly? So these would be your start buttons here. Following the cable, looks like they go where they're supposed to go. Because it's cheap. You hit that button to start. Yeah, yeah so we did that. One, one would think so. 
They've got the little genius back here. Let's see what, see what happens. Could just ask him whenever he comes back. How did you start the game? Just <laughs> be that part where you have that little text, and then Jason walks back and starts pressing random buttons with no knowledge of what's going on. Oh, there you go. What? You just had to wait on it. How long? It, the load, mean? it's got input lag. There's input lag. Well, we've been back here mashing buttons for 15 minutes. See, that's the problem. You went to a neck the, another button, you had to wait on this piece of shit to, uh... <laughs> oh, this is... Oh, you picked this game? Well, you're the one that was pressing buttons, so you selected the game. How are you jumping? Oh, I can't jump and shoot? Oh. You can. We got the helicopter! Don't wanna be saved, don't save. How did he get up there? See, I do he do a zigzag. Someone played this. This is LS Wall. Y'all showing me? Yeah. Oh, look at that. No, yeah, that's. A raspberry pie and some buttons. You just wiggle this, <laughs> and it works again. There you go, that's loose. That is loose, actually. Oh, that, that is loose. Shit. Look, I've already fixed it. Yep. Well. Uh, maybe it's not as loose as we think, though. You could put all kinds of cool stuff in there. <laughs> hmm. The beautiful thing about eBay is uh, you can put whatever price you want on anything, and sometimes it sells, and sometimes it doesn't. And oftentimes uh, this sells for 300 bucks, and sometimes it's $100 with best offer accepted, which means it was less than $100 for the exact same item. Um, <laughs> twice, three times it sold for 300 and three times it sold for uh, $100. So I have to find somewhere that makes sense. Uh, the best thing to do is also click out of souls and click at actives and kind of see what other people have theirs priced at, but nobody else has this listed at all, which means I get to list it for $300 because nobody else has it. Sell it store. Well, we'll sell it for $300 <laughs> in our store, hopefully. But it's got the box, which the other listings didn't seem to have, and then now I have to figure out what I want to do with this uh, little pen. Oh, it has the box. box! Yeah, we got the box. The, box. We got the, the English manual, silicone, whoosie whatsie that nobody cares about. So we got that. The, the environment cares about that. Don't eat it. Nah. Don't eat it. Don't feed it to your dog. Feed it to your dog. I'm going to price it probably similar to what these other guys have theirs listed at, which is about 140-ish bucks. Kind of have to determine how much you decide you want to spend on it based on how long you're going to think it's going to sit in your store, if you think you can sell it quickly. Uh, if it's something that people are really, really looking for, you're going to want to pay a higher percentage just so that you make sure that you actually get it uh, in your hands. But if you think it's going to maybe sit on the shelf, like... All these other things that we have for the longest amount of time ever, uh, maybe pay just a teensy bit less, but uh, we'll, we're gonna do probably... Uh, I'm probably gonna be in 40% land for it. So I'm gonna call it 180 for, for both of the items at, at 40%, so. Hopefully we can get this fixed, which is also kind of why I'm at 40%, because if we can't, then we have to sell it for parts or try and get somebody to fix it, which will then also cost us money. So that, that's, where, that's where we're at on the two pieces that I got to evaluate. Let's see what Jason's doing. All right, Jason, you finished your half of the trade? I'm still looking for cool on loose discs, man. It ain't in there. Yes, I finished. So mostly filler stuff, uh, but good quality titles. He's got some, some, some playable stuff, American Wasteland. Console works. That's great. He's been out of stock now. New in stock. PlayStation 2 consoles. Um, because he told us it was from the church, I threw in some extra money for my sins. So hopefully he's happy with the offer. So again, that was just a quick trade that we uh, wanted to whip together and show you guys a little bit of behind the scenes. We've got more content coming, so if you haven't, go do all the algorithm things, subscribe and like and all that jazz. You've heard it a thousand times. But uh, thanks again so much for watching all of our content, whether it's YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, whatever. We appreciate all you guys, uh, and have a great day.